Now then, and Happy New Year. So this is going to be my first video of the new year, um, and this is going to be my first project for 2022. So this is all my Rohan figures that I showed in my last video. Um, if you remember back, they were all broken, various stages of painting, um, they were just a mess. There were a lot of eBay rescues. There's quite a few new ones in there as well uh, that I've added myself from the Battle of the Pelennor Pel Fields box set. Um, so what I've done is I've cleaned them all up um, and got them all undercoated. Um, lots of scraping and mould lines off. A lot of them still had bits of sprue attached to them, funnily enough. Uh, and a lot of the horses especially needed repairing. Um, so a lot of pinning of legs and all that sort of good stuff. But yeah, as you can see, uh, I've pushed them all back. It's, it's just a blank canvas now. They're all undercoated black uh, and ready to go to be painted. Um, so the next thing I'll do with these, I think, is I'll get them all and get them put away in boxes so I can't see them. Because there's nothing more discouraging, I don't think, than seeing just a mass of figures like that uh, to paint. So hopefully the next time they'll all be on the table together is when they're painted. So I'll get them put away. Okay then, so what I've done is got them all put away, as you can see there, there's all the infantry and all the cavalry in the boxes, and what I'm going to do first is this unit of six riders. Um, I might get them done this week, hopefully, uh, and make a start. I think what I'll do is I'll do a unit of cavalry, then a unit of infantry, and alternate it like that, with the odd character model thrown in here and there, um, something like that. And just work my way through them. And I think that'll work. But these, in the next couple of months, will be living up there. Amongst all the other unpainted stuff. But hopefully not for too long. Right, have a great new year. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Now then, uh, I just thought I'd chuck this on the end. Um, so, since I've made that video with them all um, undercoated and ready to go, I've actually started painting them. And what I'm aiming for really is a tabletop sort of standard just to get them on the table and ready. Um, so I've painted up that unit of horsemen uh, and a unit of uh, foot troops. And then this guy here, this Radagaster Brown figure, um, was already painted. Um, sadly, uh, the previous owner of this, um, Scotty, uh, passed away in... November I think or the end of November um, and I've kind of inherited a lot of his figures and I felt funny uh, painting over his work and this is quite nice so I've left it as is um, I just repaired it a little bit where it had been chipped um, and based it up so I didn't want to paint over it um, but yeah so I've gone for a, a fairly easy paint scheme with these what I've done is I've just painted them all base colours and then used an oil wash a mixture of um, burnt sienna Burnt umber, sorry. Burnt umber and ivory black uh, on all these. Um, just a, like a, more towards the brown than the black. Coat them in that, let it dry for a bit. Um, got a, uh, I want to say paper clip, it's definitely not a paper clip. An earbud or a Q-tip if you're American. One of them, and I just rubbed the uh, rubbed the the oil wash off, leaving there. It just kind of highlights them a bit, um, and I think they turned out all right. Um, yeah, they look okay, don't they? With the amount of them that I've got, I think um, they'll be fine. Yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll do two two war bands. Um, half of them will have these green and white shields. And the other half, I'll come up with a diff slightly different scheme so I can tell them apart. Um, maybe give them like a, a reddy brown kind of shield, more towards red, but not complete like scarlet red, more of a, an earthy red, if you know what I mean. Anyway, don't want to waffle too much. Um, yeah, so that's what I've managed to get done already. Um, and hopefully, I'll crack on and, and work my way through all these. Um, Thanks again to Paul for providing a lot of these figures and to Dave Doherty who sort of facilitated the... Oh, he's kind of looked after Scotty's 
figures when, when he passed away um, and he passed a lot of them on to me so um, I'm really grateful uh, I hope I do them justice um, right have a great new year everyone and I'll speak to you soon bye bye